after topping the UCI Pro Team rankings in 2020 and earning a place at every World Tour race last year, Alpes in Phoenix took on the top flight teams with great success, claiming 14 wins, five of them at Grand Tours. At the same time as his men's team are winning Grand Tour stages, team manager Philip Rudhoft was developing a women's team in the same mould. We started it up two years ago just uh, by putting together um, some girls who are uh, competing in cyclocross of different teams uh, in order to be able to give them a decent road program because everybody is facing the same issue that uh, being part of a specific cyclocross team it's very difficult to have a good road program and you need the road to make progress in summer to be a stronger rider in, in winter basically what we see with the men and we see exactly the same with the women there is a certain interest in, in some races to get the experience to see how good they potentially could be it is not very easy but um, we also do not want to push anyone to into a certain direction so if cyclocross riders who say i'm really not interested in road only i'm just interested in it to become a better cyclocross rider for us it's fine for us the goal is to to offer the opportunity to riders to compete in those races, to learn from it, to get better out of it, and at the same time present ourselves to other riders as a team that's willing to compete at that level, that's able to compete at that level, and where the performance uh, philosophy is exactly the same as it is in, 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 in the men's team, Alpes in Phoenix, and that we want to offer the same opportunities to women as we do to men to become the best athletes they possibly can be. I'm pretty excited how it's gonna be and it's really nice to be here with yeah a lot of the girls from the team. It's really cool to come all together from yeah different disciplines like we're also like all of a different age and then we're also sometimes with the men so I think I think that's pretty cool because yeah we can talk a lot about the different disciplines in cycling and yeah learn some new things and yeah grow with each other and I think that's yeah a big plus for a team like this. It's so exciting and I'm sure everything's possible so I think it's only something to look forward to. <laughs> I was already laughing because on the training rides, the cyclocross rider, they are jumping in the dirt and then on the, on the paths again. <laughs> I'm just a roadie, so I <laughs> stay on my tracks. <laughs> I saw it a lot of times in races that the cyclocross riders, they have, you don't lose so much position if you can use every part of the roads. We got a wild card for uh, all the, the, the Flemish program, but also for Paris-Roubaix. And first time now also for uh, Strade Bianche and we hope to be in Tour de France. We should be an attractive team, and then in two perspectives. So for, uh, for riders to say, that's a team I would consider joining if they would ask it, that, that's an important element. During races, we should be present, and then I'm not uh, expecting we would beat SD Works, but if you look at the screen, you should see a team that's present in breakaways, in, 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 in how the race goes, and, um, and hopefully also uh, at some races also in the final. It is a chance to, to show what we are able to towards uh, organizers like ASO, but it's also uh, something like uh, a test for us to see, we think we have the level to be a good team in those races, um, but reality will have to learn us if our opinion on that is the right one or not. But we are very confident.